We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Up next, a good one in the NFC West and a wild card rematch from a year ago as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Two mile an hour wind, yo. This is outrageous. And they will elect to not bring this, this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. First and ten. Watson, a little touch pass on the jet sweep. And unable to get downhill there, so he'll take this up to about the 37. The Niners at 500 at six and six. Well, they were losers last time out, trying to turn things around here in this one. And it always helps to have a home crowd behind you, giving you encouragement as long as you give them something good to cheer about. So, you know, they just want to come out and play well for their faithful, and I expect them to do just that. So, from the 37, here's second and nine. To throw is Watson. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. A handoff left, McCaffrey. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. So that run play nullified by the holding call on the tight end. Yeah, I just think he needs to get off the ball a lot quicker and get into the block a little bit more effectively. Then he doesn't have to reach and grab and try and hold on. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. McCaffrey following the penalty. Oh, oh. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Second and 10. Watson now to throw. Oh, my and God. Yeah. Brandon Ayuk. And he will reach the 5-yard line before going out of bounds. Give him 30 yards there. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to, to deliver. Why, why, why do they wait till the ball's thrown to make a play, bro? He's in your freaking area, dog. They'll try to make a play. Jesus Christ. Dude, literally, boy, they literally wait. Watch the guy run towards them, the only guy in the area, and don't react until the ball is just really good team defense because, because to me, you can't pin that one on the running back. He had no shot there. He had a man in his face immediately. Second and goal from the six this time. Go all the way. Go all the way. 
Watson just beating the play clock. You fucking bitch, man. Christian McCaffrey. He has career touchdown number 78, tying in with both Eddie George and Frank Gifford on the all-time list. And the 49ers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Moody good with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll run with Walker to begin the drive. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they block well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll fake it. Now Smith. Open man, that's Noah Fant, the tight end. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. The big gainer there on the catch and run, 37 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. Walker now on first and ten. Oh, some strong running. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now a first and ten at the 11. To throw is Smith. And it's caught. Touchdown, Seahawks. Jackson Smith and Jigba with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Seahawks respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Myers connects on the PAT, and we are tied at seven. Jason Myers for Seattle. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they are back down to 500 following the loss last week. Consistency was great. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Fuck, you guys get fucking stuck, bro. I swear to God, the stupid ass shit. How they get stuck behind somebody is fucking ridiculous, bro. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Shit is straight fucking dumb. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. What the, f what the fuck was that? Oh my God. There open space. Press square. 62 yards rushing for him as he's gotten the afternoon off to a great start. Gosh, when you've gotten Deshaun Watson, Charles executing a run pass option, that puts the defense in a tough spot, does it not? It does, and what I liked is that you called me this week. 
watching your own video, your own tape, and you said, I think the runner's going to pop a few this week because of what we've seen from Deshaun Watson. His ability to get to the corner, that's where the focus would go. That will result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Here's Watson. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Off of play action, it's Watson. Give me that. And it's intercepted. It's Devin Bush, the linebacker, who picks it. And the Seahawks are going to take over at their own 41. It's almost like you can my see the look of frustration on his face. Four interceptions last week. We talked about it all week. What did he do wrong? And another one here in the first half. And you can understand the frustration. You actually feel his ball, pain nigga. a little bit. But the worst thing he can do is what you're seeing right now. Showing the other team that he's frustrated. All they're going to do is double their efforts to make him even more frustrated. He's got to gather himself, compose oh, that, himself. Your ball. Don't fuck. I didn't even see him there, bro. I thought I didn't even see the two guys. It's what the fuck was that? I didn't even know my fucking play. As they take over at their 46-yard line. Unfortunately for him, if last week was any indication, we knew a pick was coming at some point. Last week, it was interception after interception, and here we go again. We actually quit counting last <laughs> one week. One <laughs> point because I thought I was going to run out of fingers, all right, because I'm not all that skilled as a mathematician. But you're right. It's a matter of time, and you got to think the guys on defense, they couldn't wait for this opportunity after what they saw on tape. These two teams getting a couple of late season tilts this year. Their first meeting was not too long ago, back in week 12. And it was the visiting Niners who won that ball game. So they'll look to make it a clean sweep here at home in Santa Clara. Nobody wants to watch the fucking game, huh? Now a second and ten. Throwing again is Watson. What is he doing by himself, bro? That shit. Of course, he, of course he breaks the fucking tackle. What the fuck was that, bro? seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted. And now, with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. Moody good with the extra point. And that makes the score 14-7. to Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. That's one thing about me. I get the fucking turnover. I always get the fucking ball. Always. Every fucking time. Never fucking fails. Never fails. Never fucking fails. I swear to God, every time I get a turnover, I give it right fucking back, bro. Some bullshit. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive. The Seahawks offense. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something nice. together. Nice. Good fucking blocking, guys. Great fucking blocking, guys. I love the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we fucking go with the bullshit. Let's go. Start it up. Might as well. It's going to have momentum. Then some more bullshit's going to happen because it's fake-ass fucking momentum. We got going on in this gay ass shit. And then it's just a wrap. Man. It's just gonna be dumb shit after dumb shit. Once he gets momentum, let's go. Give him fucking momentum. Fucking want to. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And got his man. 
Yeah. Fuck yeah, nigga. Give me my shit. Gotta hold on to that fucking ball. Able to convert on third and fourteen. And might just stay around another season. That one hurts defensively. They force him into third and long. Had the advantage. That was probably one of Geno's best throws of the fucking year. Their offense was already warming up on the sideline, ready to come out. So much for that three and out. A gear for Walker running right. Come on, make a juke, dude. Do something. Make a fuck. Make a football move, my guy. Come on, my guy. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Seahawk football here to start quarter number two. As they've got it with a second and four coming up. Come on, my guy. Smith and Jigba in motion right. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. I think the reason that this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already, so he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. Lock it in motion right. To the right side, this is Walker. Hey, Finn, 87. That was a great block, that was a great block my guy. That was awesome. There and it's second and 11. We knew both of these safeties were good in okay. run support, but how about the play we just saw there? How about that closing speed? Able to get to the outside part of the field and turn that play into a loss. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Man in motion left. That's Smith and Jingo. Wow. I was so bad. I must have thrown a fucking lot. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. And now Smith going to change the play. Stop field goal, you you're take, on that one pounds. You really don't want to do that. In this case, nah, they'll take the field goal guys, my guy. and get prepared for the rest I'm of the game. I'm going to have to come for you. We'll get this turnover real quick, my guy. Just saying real quick, my guy. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on the last time I look at repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. And they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute the Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I like watching the wide 
receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. Oh, wow. Now a first down throw complete downfield. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one. Jackson is slipping to it. I wonder why Jackson is slipping to it. 39 yards, the distance covered on the catch and run. I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice what attacking play. What the fuck is he picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. And now they'll shift things around. On first down, this is McCaffrey. <laughs> oh my God. 82 yards rushing for him as he has been taught to stop here this first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. <laughs> Through the air, on the ground, they move the ball with relative ease. Pushes. He literally pushes my guy from behind. Two big plays in succession. And nothing. Not sure this D knows nothing. what hit him, but now they got to wow. get ready. It's first and goal. I didn't tell y'all that before. And that'll hurt I'm the telling you now, this game is this fucking time they're awesome. able to get him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. They had three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Yeah, back that, that shit flag up, accepted guy. and it backs the offense up a little bit. Things made a little more difficult after the false start as they try again on second and goal. Watson. It's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. Deshaun Watson with his third touchdown pass of this first half. And the 49ers are able to widen their advantage. <laughs> And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, that touchdown. That was so bad on my end. That was... Moody good with the extra point. And that makes it a 21-10 game. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. Oh, man. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. What we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. On second down, it's Walker. And some space here. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. First down Seattle on a pickup of 13. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. And he ran right through one tackle as he fights forward for a gain of seven. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Second down and three. Again, it's Walker. 
And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Third and three. Now Gino. Bro, the dude's lit. early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And into the end zone. He was looking for just a short throw, kept it in range for the rare <laughs> linebacker pick six. And give him full credit for his focus. He just kept the quarterback in his sights and where he was looking to throw, he positioned himself perfectly to be there for the interception. He made the play of the game for his defense right there. Moody good with the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's able to get this across the 20. It's crazy how your guys disengage that easily. You fucking run uh, uh, out to the outside zone. You fucking receivers are getting held to the fucking until you pass them. And then they let it go. <laughs> fucking stupid ass shit. Bro. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive. The Seahawks offense. And not the first time that they're coming back out off of a turnover, but the last one really hurt Charles. Oh, 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 are you going to fucking like block, you stupid ass? Right now, it? It's not just been one person. It's kind of been a group effort where the mistakes have happened. Can they put that aside, kind of start over, and put together a nice job? And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 74 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Now Gino on first down. Left side, he finds Smith and Jigba. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Up the middle, here's Walker. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. And the 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Walker with another carry. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's second and seven. Up the middle they run. It's Walker. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. This is Fant on the short completion. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. But with the score where it is, you're not thinking field goals right now. You need touchdowns. So that was a much-needed conversion there on third down. 
Straight ahead, Walker. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Sticking with Walker on second down. A solid stiff arm. And he takes yeah, see it how down I the the fuck out of him just now? Tell that nigga to get his nice weight up. up at 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. This guy's well on his way now to a shit. big game on the ground. It's another good one the there. Ground, Puts him over the century mark in yardage. <laughs> Yo, we're still in the second punk. quarter. What was that? This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Here's Walker. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. So they get pushed back to the 11 and here's second and goal. They'll try the air now with Smith. Oh, to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand. And that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Gino out of throw. Yo, what the fuck is that? Is incomplete. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while, but when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. Man in motion left, that's Smith and Jigba. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. It's Jair Brown who's got it. And the 49ers are going to get the ball back on the turnover. They hold on fourth and goal. Well, Charles certainly circled that play. We might have to revisit it later. They had three in their back pocket. They go for it on fourth and goal and throw the pick. Well, you know we're still in the first half. A bold call, nonetheless. And I guess the book might have said, take the three. But it looks like they burned the book and just said, give me the analytics. And the analytics said, go for it. Didn't work out. <laughs> and we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. The Seahawks trailing, but they will have possession first here as we resume action in the third quarter. With a fair catch taken short of the goal line, and they'll begin this third quarter at their own 25. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. They look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive? on that play sheet for any of those coordinators. They just don't have it, right? You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. On second down, here's Smith. Going right back to Smith and Jigba. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 
From the gun, it's Walker. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football part now. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Second down and a yard. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. They're going to hurry back to the line now. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Man in motion left, that's Smith and Jigba. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. Setting up the screen here, this is Walker. And he is out of bounds, looks like right at the 15. Well, a first down screen pass, good for five. Oh, Call that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch, I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Flush to his right. And he finds Lockett in the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks yeah. are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Hey, man. I thought you was going to run up. I thought you was going to go up top with, with, with the middle the linebacker originally, but then you could drop back down low. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Oh hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. And you can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've got to sit through half the time and sit on the side to watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They run with McCaffrey off the option. And this will leave him a yard short. Oh, nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. to throw Watson got a man that's how you so the completion good for six yards and that will bring up second down From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he's going to have a Niners 
first down is good running. Gets him to about the 44. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Off the option, here's McCaffrey. Jonathan Hankins in on the stop. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Second and nine. Now Watson, he's going to move him around. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down to 50 after a gain of about five. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. This now a third and four. From the 50, it's Watson. Why is my shit tweaking like this, bro? What the hell's going on, though? This shit's tweaking for real, bro. Messed up. I didn't even touch nothing, and my whole view changed on my screen, dog. That shit's crazy, bro. Kyle Shanahan's made the decision. They're going on fourth down. They will indeed snap it to Watson. That's to the sideline. Oh, oh, he's out of bounds inside the 35. <laughs> that will go for 17 yards on fourth. Couldn't ask for much more from your offense there. First down. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And he's tapping a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Now they'll change things around before the snap. On second down, there's a keeper by the QB. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. Now it's Watson. What? Yo. This fucking game is straight fucking... Yo, bro. Did not let me click circle and triangle, right? We do it all the time, right? Fucking game played me, bro. Straight fucking played me, dog. I can't stand this fucking game, dog. Nigga slaps the fucking ball and goes right to him for a pick. Fucking trash, nigga. I don't ever want to hear how good this fucking game is, Trash ass fucking shit. It's just so hard. Ball goes right fucking to him, bro. Right to him, and he slaps the fucking ball down, dog. Oh my god, this, you can't get any worse than that, bro. There's no excuse. No fucking excuse. Fucking can't get any worse than that. Any fucking worse. Here, here's three points. Madden, here, give you three points. Here you go, buddy. Fucking who knows what would have happened if you would have went for it. Fucking trash, bro. Straight garbage, man. Basuda, fucking click. I press circle. It probably brought me to some fucking guy in East Bumfuck. That's probably what happened. He does that Coming stupid to the line shit? Here to begin time. their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still drop it. Drop it. Jump in the fucking air 20 feet so you can't land correctly. When the ball's going right to you, just drop it, bro. Just drop it. Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there. 
the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. Second and ten, Smith again. Out right to Smith and Jigba. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And now they're in the hurry up. Pick a play, dog. Pick a fucking play, dog. I'm fucking pressing X 20 fucking times and it's not fucking picking anything, dog. What the fuck, yo? Stupid ass shit, yo. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he is going to lose yardage here. That one is blown up by Jordan Brooks, the linebacker. Taken down back at the 34 yard line. And that is going to do it for it never this third quarter fails of action. To fucking you are amazing, watching the I'm NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. <laughs> it's 49er fucking football terrible. here. They've got the lead as well as we get set to start the fourth and final quarter. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. Here's Watson. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. A partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Third and long, it's Watson. Maybe the fucking ball. Maybe the point you don't fucking belong with it. Yo, how? Nick. Yo, yo, bro, bro. What the fuck is Christian McCaffrey's speed, my nigga? Yo, you can't make this shit up, bro. You really can't. You really can't. This game never ceases to fucking amaze me, bro. I just got caught fucking from behind. A 99 fucking speed just got chased back fucking down by Christian fucking McCaffrey, bro. You just witnessed it. Whoever the fuck's watching, three, four fucking viewers, whoever the fuck's watching, 99 speed just got chased down by this fucking bum ass nigga McCaffrey. Here's the Seattle fucking offense terrible. ready to get Another this fucking drive perfect underway. example why Matt is fucking great. The interception was a great starting point, but now they need points for the down two house. scores. The Smiths get off the Break that tackle. And he is tackled inside fucking the 40, not quite to the 35. 35. Now Ruggie Walker. Go through, go through. And he can only manage to get a couple. Like a hole. Second and eight coming up. And the offense moving quickly to the line. A gain of two brings up second and eight. Play action. It's Smith. I just threw it. I just threw the fuck ball. And that falls to the ground incomplete. I don't want to get side. A nice job of bonding him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. <laughs> Misconnection there. He's hit on just no interception there, though. Had three, three dudes cover him, and they didn't get a fucking interception there. Evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old. Fifty percent would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield. What a terrible throw! What a terrible yeah, throw! That was absolutely absurd. I cannot lie to you. That was absolutely absurd. On first down, Smith. Yeah, give it to him. Well, he was hit as he threw it. Absolutely, Bob Shooter. Offense was moving it a little bit. Had him back that up shit was terrible. Pass, by forcing the incompletion, that gives him a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. Catch the ball, sucker. Catch the ball, sucker. Catch the ball, sucker. 
back. He gives some credit to the defenders on that when he rushed his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Off of play action. Here's Smith. If he didn't catch that fucking thing, yo, if Smith missed that throw, bro, I would have flipped shit, my nigga. Game, Dead ass. I would have fucking been tight. Get a bit closer. This nigga was just at no well, pressure, no nothing. Just decided to throw overthrow it slightly, yo. Point, it wow, that game. was almost Now, you and I have seen coaches get overly aggressive in this spot, but I agree with you. Hard to score on the red zone. Never mind stupid that shit like that. Extra point up and through by Myers. Hey, we only down by one. All this nonsense going down, and we only down by one possession, bro. Am I doing my math right? I think so. This is outrageous. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it All away. All this nonsense, and I'm only down by one possession. Can you believe that bullshit? And he'll elect not to run with it. You know, the fair catch on the kickoff. Yo, what is going on, right? Together, shy. Get it the fuck together, bro. Come on, dude. What the fuck are you doing? The 49er the offense set to get this drive I'm underway. Back, I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, it's very close. One score game. <laughs> get that nigga. Fuck him up, bro. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Yeah, McCaffrey, yeah, yeah. Get his eyes, boy. Get what he can up the middle. Two yards. That'll bring up second down. I hope he's hurt. No, the recipe's no. pretty hurt. simple, I think. I hope right? he's hurt. Give your superstar the ball. Continue to feed him. Yeah, yeah don't overthink this one, right? Mm -hmm. Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football. I hope he's hurt. I hope he's hurt. Make him drop the ball. Yeah, take it down. Make him drop the ball. After a short gain of two. This offense so far on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and six. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Oh, you lucky ass dude, yo. You are fucking one lucky ass man. I'll tell you, 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 you are so lucky I am playing like absolute shit, yo. Because that was a damn pick. That was a damn pick. And that certainly appears to be a critical lucky conversion right there. Like because shit. not only do they keep the drive I'll, going, I'll, I'll, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about yeah, that. Get the tackle, get the tackle, bro. Yeah, it's it's up the middle for a game it's about four. It's go for the, make down. Six, the field goal, bro. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Watson, a little touch pass on the jet sweep. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. A give running left. It's McCaffrey. Yo, this no, this is no way, bro. This is obvious. This is absolutely. Yo, I just seen a guy just. Extra point try now for Moody. And the lead is up to 15 now. Absolutely trash. 
and now I'm about to run it back. To boot it away it's following the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Hey. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. Then confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you yeah, scored on. once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll fake it. Now Smith. He's wide open. Left side wide. complete to Lockett. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. On, that get him good for 14 in the Seahawks first. Out here. Put him on the Clock management. Put him on definitely the critical Coach. here if they want to get back, in, back in this game. Him. Absolutely Coach. agreed. They have to up the Send tempo in, the in this room. case. Coach. Oh, no, 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 Joe. You want a clock, boy. You get in on the clock. You better situate that ASAP because you want a motherfucker. Ooh, you want a clock, boy? Hurry up! You want a clock? Tick tock! You want a clock? Tick tock! You want a clock? Tick tock! You want a clock? Switch it up! Switch it up! Scores. Right, want to make sure they like have it. a chance to win this ball game. I love it. Get them out of here. Stop the pass rush. Stop. The, stop. The, the back run, to back good plays. Defense. Have them on the move on first down. Chilling. From the Chilling. fifty, it's Smith. Oh, that is, that one that is tips in. It's trash. incomplete. That is good hands there trash. defensively. Yeah, it's second down. This, this could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 39. Why, why he's been head? big, why two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. Good he's yardage running. on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that Yo, done and get the ball top back top as quickly as possible. Top Throwing top on top first top down, top but this one winds up to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Here's Smith now on second down. Yo, wow. Yeah, I, don't know, I don't know what the hell that was, but man, I gave it out too, I guess. Wide right open guy, he throws him over, throws him over. Nice, nice. no pressure, and nothing. Take and over decides, hey, this the pass is going to give it to you. Yes, folks, that is his look third look interception. Look at that shit, no pressure, no guy within fucking 20 feet. He overthrows the He's fuck out of that ball. <laughs> I love the way that you called for the shot there. That's perfect, though, because... There is something to that. Being a safety often allows you freedom to roam around the defense. Maybe job, not a specific man. Look at assignment. Perfect block. Yeah, go Today, get off. This is a Find the football, and he's done so very well. And boy, showing how tough he can be to bring down, just fighting his way forward to pick up seven yards. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the this ground, right? Absolutely. This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. And McCaffrey going to pick up a Niners first down as he gets this up past the 20. My high school football coach was very fond of saying, you've got to meet force with force. And on a short yardage running play, that's what you're going to encounter. And how about them picking up the first down on that one? <laughs> running left, Davis Price. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. And a penalty accepted, and they move the ball forward. Now they'll try to take advantage of that offsides call. Here's first and five. Davis Price up the middle. He's going to go. They're not going to get Good it. Good job. Now it's loose at the 40. Inside the 20. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he gets all the way down inside the 20-yard line. A big play there for the Niners. 56.
See the tackling, bro? You know damn well I didn't have the analog stick fucking pointing the opposite way he was running. The tackling is so atrocious in this game. That's a decent game there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Straight fucking trash. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Second down, here's Davis Price. No, no tackle, bro. No tackle. I just run by him. And no, Bush doesn't get the tackle. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. It's not a huge I can get stuck on a player for 20 minutes and not be able to move. But I can't make a tackle. You'll take that every single time. Third down and one. This is absolutely atrocious. Watson flushed out right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, when I switch players, don't put me to the guy that's right behind you so I can make the tackle. Put me to the guy that's next behind him so I can make, I can hit square and he can fall to the ground and then you can run up further. And then I can miss on the neck. Look at he's jumping. Yo, Madden gave you another one. Another one. That's another one for you. If receivers are covered, that's great. That's great. They clicked me on to the guy in the fucking middle. I had a dude standing right behind you to make the fucking sack. And they clicked me on to the fucking guy standing behind him. <laughs> Yo, I love Madden, bro. I love it. This and they're going to mark that where ever. it went out of bounds. So really good starting ever. field position. Up I ain't never played a game better than this one. That's, that's for sure. That's for damn sure, yo. I ain't never played no game better than Madden, yo. Another one. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and 10 at the 41 yard line. What the fuck? Smith now to throw. Crossing route catch made by Eskridge. Whoop! And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the third. Another one. Getting it to him in like space. Pays off here, big though. time. That winds up going third for 31. This game is absolutely so so now crazy. then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now. First and 10. Smith. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Another throw there off the mark. And obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question. And my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you That's keep throwing good. the football with confidence. But we're not seeing like a confident time. thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. End zone, cool. Touchdown, Seattle. Noah Fan from 13 yards out. And the Seahawks have got it back to a two-score game, game here in the fourth. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more it was for the close fantasy for the, guys, doesn't it? For a while, but yeah, it's just something got, maybe positive you know, Madden, to look at on Madden the field. And, you know, you're obviously a good player, so I can't, yeah, I can't I afford you totally on that mistakes, way. man. It's, it's tough. They'll try and run it up the middle. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And he'll elect not to return yeah, this one. I so missed a lot of shit. To the 25 on the touchback. Choo -choo. The San Francisco uh, offense yeah, ready to start honest. their next drive. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this I point. I do not this like why they keep switching me to the use the timeouts here. It's oh, strictly it's so for bad. Sure. I think we need to change the settings. We got to play the cast. This is bad. They are literally put, switching me to every other guy besides the person that needs to be there. <laughs> a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends. And understandably, so not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? 
this offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for the 49ers, they move back over five. Hey. Hey. 